Hello everyone, it's Sheila, and I decided I would come on and do a very quick outfit of the day. I'm actually getting ready to run out to Ulta, and I'll tell you all about it in a video when I come back. Hopefully, if I'm not out too long and I'm home by myself when I get back so that I'm able to tell you, I'm supposed to go to the movies this evening, so if I find that my time isn't where I can do it when I come back, I'll have to do it in the car. But let's just hope that I can get back in time, that I can actually do it in you know, here, inside my room here. But anyway, so um, this is a top that I got from TJ Maxx. It's from Sienna Sky, which is, you know, I don't know, just like a no-name brand or whatever. But it was like $12.99, and it's got the Peekaboo shoulders, which I don't really know what the name of these type of tops are, but I call them Peekaboo shoulders. And it's got the handkerchief type uh, bottom, where it just kind of goes up and down, up and down, all around. Kind of like a, I, I want to say like a, a rayonish material, I think. I'm not real good on fabric, so. And then I have on my American Eagle boyfriend, no, excuse me, girlfriend slouch jeans, I think is what they're called, but they're totally distressed. Like, I don't know if you can see very well because it's these are white pants and, but they're like, okay, see all those tear marks? Yeah. They're like really reggae, <laughs> ragged. Like, I don't know, you can't really tell. And then I am wearing my Nine West slip-ons today, which are just these little babies. You've seen me in these before. I actually was going to put on some heels, but I am suffering from bursitis in my hip. <laughs> Hard getting old, is it? No, nah, well, bursitis happens to anybody, but um, yeah, so my hip has really been hurting me lately and have other things going on. <laughs> so the girl was just like, no. We're not going to wear no heels today. We're just going to wear some flats and be cute in our flats. So these are such cute slip-ons. Like, I just absolutely love them. Like, when I first saw them, I thought, they're kind of funky. And they're so not me, but they're me. Like, the studs on them made them me. But, like, normally I wouldn't wear slip-ons like this. Like, I don't know. It, it's just funny. But I'm enjoying them right now. And I've got on some turquoise jewelry. This bracelet here is a real... Uh, Sterling silver bracelet, which I need to clean it. It's looking a little tarnished. And then this was a gift from somebody. I don't remember who. I don't remember how I got this bracelet, but I think it was a gift, um, which is, I mean, you know, this isn't, it's just, you know, what do you want to call it? Um, costume jewelry. And then this little bracelet right here, um, near and dear to me, when I was working my part-time job at the club, I was given this by a young lady who did not have any money to give me a tip and so she said that I was so sweet and so kind that she just could not leave without giving me something and so at the end of the night she came in and gave me this bracelet and I have just absolutely loved it ever since like it's little things like that like I wasn't working I mean obviously I'm working for tips but it's not like I was gonna mistreat you if you didn't give me a tip but for someone to do something like that, and I, I mean, I'm sure this bracelet probably didn't cost a lot. I don't know. Like, I don't even know what what the dynamics of this bracelet is. I just know that the thought behind it was beautiful. And then this is just a sterling silver turquoise. It's a three-piece ring set that I've had forever in a day. I think I got it from TJ Maxx. A lot of my sterling silver comes from TJ Maxx. Like, did this come from TJ Maxx? I think it did. I'm pretty sure it did. But, um... I'm wearing my coach watch today and then my James Avery ring and then I have on this is a sterling silver ring and it's not the James Avery ring everyone always asks me that but this is not this is a ring that I've had for years I, it's sterling silver I don't even remember where I got it but it's not the James Avery one even though I know it looks a lot like it if you actually look at it really really close you can tell that it's not and then I'm gonna bend way down. Hopefully, I don't give you no boobalicious. Not that I can do boobalicious because the girl don't have it rolling like that. But, um, and then these earrings are some earrings that I got from, you wanna guess where? TJ Maxx, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I've got on my, I was gonna say on my ears. I guess that's true. <laughs> I'm wearing my, these are the earrings that I'm wearing. So, anyway, they're kind of like, um, they're turquoise. What are these? I wanna, they're more Western looking. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. But anyhow, <laughs> these are my earrings, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to back up one more time so that you can kind of see my outfit. And it's just, a, I mean, I don't know. I just feel very comfortable in this outfit today. I had these 
I've had, I had, well, I say these because I had on one yesterday or the day before yesterday that you guys didn't see. But it was a green one. It was actually made out of a little bit different material. But I've had these for a couple weeks now. And I hadn't worn them. I don't know why, but I hadn't. So today I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this. So anyway, um, I think I might do my face of the day and kind of attach it to this, but it'll probably be for me in the car um, because it might be a little bit easier to do that. Um, well, yeah, because I'm bending down and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, I will chat with you guys in just a few minutes. Okay, so I decided to just go ahead and do the face of the day before I went out the door. Look at my hair, y'all. I braided, I washed it yesterday. It was starting to look a little dull. I washed it yesterday and I put lots of actual braids. Like I put several, probably like three more than I normally did. And I kind of like that it kind of gave it a little bit more definition. So yes, I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, my face today is, my foundation is, um, you guessed it, Right now, that's been the, all the crave for me. I have on the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have the 8.75 mixed with the 9.75 to give me my perfect color. So I think the verdict in, in this camera is like sliding, y'all. So y'all forgive me. Let me see if I can't make it a little bit better. How's that? A little bit better. It's sliding. It's like I have it on this little tripod thing and it's sliding on my marble bar thing. So, but anyway, so uh, yeah, that's what makes my perfect color. And then I'm wearing um, this little shiny stuff that you guys can see. It is from Cover Effects, and it's like a little sample of something that the girl gave me in Sephora. And I don't know what it's called because like the writing on the paper kind of wore off. <laughs> like it, I guess it like smeared, and so I can't tell what it is. But I've been seeing a lot of videos where they've been showing this stuff from Color Effects, and it's the same thing. But it's like a, a it's um, a cream shimmer or metallic something or another but I, I've been putting it like on my little cheekbones and kind of liking it y'all just kind of liking it so anyway I have that I just knocked something on the floor so that's what I have that's giving me the shimmer I have on my MAC ginger which is a blush that is like my all-time favorite I wear it a lot um, it's just easy I like I mean it just goes with everything for me and I'm not really like I'm not all gung-ho on blushes so I don't go out and buy them I just, the ones I have I've had forever or they've been ones that have come like with a gift with purchase, you know, like, like a gift set type of thing. So girl just don't really go out and buy blushes. I just, they're not my thing. So, and then on my eyes today, I'm wearing that Marc Jacobs gel. I, I think it's called gel eyeliner pencil. I'm freaking loving it. And one of my subscribers said, you can't go wrong with Marc Jacobs. It's worth the money. Girl, you ain't never lied. So I love my foundation. I, I, everything that I've had from Marc Jacobs, I actually, and that was sliding again, y'all. Let's do this again. But um, yeah, so um, everything I've gotten so far, I really, really like. Lipstick, one of the ones, I have one. And it doesn't stay on very well, but it's not bad. Like, it's, I think it's because I've gotten so much into these MAC, I'm um, not MAC, into these matte lipsticks that it, it's making me not like the ones that aren't matte, but it's not a bad lipstick, but it doesn't stay on very long. But, um, so that's the gel eyeliner that I have on. And then I have on, on my eyes, um, I have three different things on my eyes. I have, uh, the, the lighter color that you can see right in here is from Lancome. It's, I don't, you can't tell the color because it was in one of those little gift for purchase, those little trio type of thing. And then I have that on my brow bone. And then also right in here, you'll see, it's really kind of like an olive green. It is out of my Bizart palette. It's the, the second matte one, the dark matte collection set, my um, Bizart palette. So I kind of just have those two colors on my eye, or th well, you know, I said three colors, it's really just two because it's three different spots, but it's only two different colors, girl, so I'm just a little cray cray there. And then on my lips, I'm wearing my um, Cray Cray from Mark, you know, from Mark Jacobs from Tarte. It's the um, Tartist, Tart, Tartist, I think it's what it's, I have to look at it again. I think it's Tartist, isn't it Tartist? I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth, do I? Let's hope not. But I think it's the Tartist, Tartist is what it's called. But um, I have on the Cray Cray. And um, of course, start getting text messages every time I try, try to do something like this. And I have it on with a spice lip liner, so it kind of dulled it down just a little bit. And my eyeshadows today, hodgepodge of several different ones. I really need a new eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, uh, mascara, I'm sorry. 
I need to pick up a new mascara today while I'm out and about. I'll tell you guys the whole story of the stuff that I'm getting ready to go buy in just a few minutes or like probably in my car. Like I said, I want to do a video, um, hopefully when I come back, but it's sliding down again, y'all. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. But I don't know how time-wise because I'm just now leaving to head out and I know when I get in that store, I'm probably just going to go hog crazy and I, you know, it happens when I go in stores, but I'm headed to Ulta and I'm going to TJ Maxx. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way up to San Marcos or not, but if I don't find what I want in the Ulta in New Braunfels, I'm going on to San Marcos. So that's my story for today. My nail polish today is a color from... Essie and I don't remember what color it is so I will place it somewhere here on the on the camera but yeah I've had this on since Thursday night um, and it's holding up pretty good I've been my nail polish has been working for me lately and I think I kind of know what it is which I might do a whole video on it or something I don't know but you know me I have to change up the routine every once in a while just because I get bored with the things that I use and so forth and so forth. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and get off now so that I can get on this road and um, it will be a whole separate video. So I'm going to post this video and then I'm going to post the other video, hopefully tonight, but if, for sure this one will go up tonight. But if I, for some reason, don't get a chance to get this, all of what I'm getting ready to go do video <laughs> uh, tonight, it will go up at some point or another, I promise. So in the meantime, you guys have a fantastic Sunday which just isn't gonna go up until like tonight. So hope you had a fantastic Sunday. How's that? Comment below and tell me what your Sunday was like. Did you go to church today? You all know I use, I do my church thing on Wednesday nights. Um, it's the way that I can uh, keep my family. It's, it's what works for us as far as work and things like that. So some people prove, some people don't, but I get my I get my praise on and God doesn't put us to limits of saying when we can get our praise on. So. I enjoy going to church on Wednesday nights and occasionally I do go on Sundays. Sometimes I go both times. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in or what I have to do for the day or whatever. But today, well, this weekend, I've really been under the weather. So um, I was literally on the couch pretty much all day yesterday. Um, got some illnesses going on with me. Nothing real serious, but just have really had me just not feeling well. <sighs> so I just had to rest yesterday. And with everything that was going on with work, I think I need a men I needed a mental day as well. So yesterday I just laid on my couch, had the heating pad going, and girl did basically nothing. I mean I did get up and wash my hair. You can see a little bit of my gray peeping through probably, um, but I did get up and wash my hair, and I braided it up and it stayed braided all day and all night. So that might be too wide looking kind of pretty up in there. I don't like the fact that you can see that little gray stuff going up. Look at that little piece. Just want to fly. Okay. Girl is rambling and don't need to be rambling. So, you guys, again, <laughs> hope you had a great Sunday. Comment below. Tell me about your Sunday. Tell me about your weekend. I just want to know. Like, I am enjoying all the feedback I'm getting. So, you guys, don't stop it. Don't stop it at all. I love talking to you. I feel like I'm making some major, major connections with people right now. And I'm loving every minute of it. So, again, I will check you all later. Look out for this next video that's going to come up. Because I'm going to be doing a serious video here pretty soon on some stuff. Of course, it probably, you know, something that I'm getting ready to go take care of right now.